Finally, KDE is making its own distro. GNOME and KDE are the best in class desktop environments for Linux distros. The popular distributions like Fedora, Ubuntu, and Arch Linux use GNOME and Plasma as the primary user interface for desktop users. KDE is following in the footsteps of GNOME OS, which is not a full fledged operating system. However, KDE is committed to creating its own Linux distribution. At the recent Academy 2024 conference, KDE developers proposed an operating system called KDE Linux. This proposal has been accepted and plans are coming together for official KDE Linux codenamed as Project Banana with the goal of establishing it as the KDE operating system. This OS aims to be the best offering from KDE recommended for both end users and OEMs. Now, as of now, KDE announced its goals and plans for KDE Linux, focusing on how it will differ from other distributions. Now, I gave the upcoming KDE Linux a test drive and guess what? It actually feels much better. The main goals of KDE Linux is to attract hardware partners, provide a user-friendly and high-quality UX, focus on modern technologies, and much more. The don't confuse KDE Linux with KDE Neon. Neon is based on Ubuntu LTS and offers the latest and greatest Plasma desktop experience, features, and updates. However, the architecture of KDE Linux will be quite different from Neon. According to the official documentation, KDE Linux will use Arch as its base with some degree of rolling updates like Steam OS or Fedora Kyonite. Its base system will be read only. The system will use automatic images with AB partition layout, enabling easy rollbacks if any update causes any problems. The default session will be valent. It will also feature SystemD as the bootloader with sleek boot theming, automatic backup system using BTRFS snapshots with a nice GUI, and much more. Like Neon, KDE Linux will offer three editions, Testing, Enthusiast, and Stable. The Testing Edition is for Plasma developers and QA testers. Enthusiast Edition is for Power users, and Stable Edition is for the general users. So why is KDE making its own distro when Neon exists? The reason is simple. While Neon fulfills the KDE requirements, it lacks reliability due to the Ubuntu LTS base. Ironically, the LTS base becomes unstable because it requires tweaking to build Plasma, thus breaking the LTS promise. Now, as of now, there's no confirmed release date for KDE Linux aka Project Banana. I will keep an eye on its development and update you about this exciting new distribution from KDE. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about the upcoming KDE Linux? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Ryo. I will see you in the next one.